In the continuing saga of the multi-lock fail, where the hell is the camera? Um, I have decided, while I have the bloody thing apart, that I should make a key, and because I don't have any blanks, I decided to go to the garage and um, use some files. It was kind of inspired by some videos I watched yesterday of a gentleman who had, in Britain, who had uh, made some absolutely beautiful um, locks uh, just for display. So what I did was I took a piece of aluminum angle iron and uh, let's zoom out so that my hand is less in the way. Um, there we are. Um, and I filed one side of it down a bit. I left it in the angle form. Um, I'll probably remove this at some point, but it's much easier to work on if you can kind of grab onto this. Um, I took some files and I cut the wards in there. Um, and uh, it's kind of marked where I wanted the stop to be. And um, so it actually looks like I almost have it set up so I could do it on the other side, but I think I'm only going to make it one sided unless so that um, when I screw it up, I can use the other side maybe. So I'm going to try to file the bidding into it and see if I can get a functioning key so that uh, I at least know that my lock works before I spend more time picking it. Anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll see what evolves from there. Okay, so I now know something else. Um, this was an MT5 or equivalent. So if I look at pin 2, which is that one that was giving me trouble before, um, it has that little, I don't know, I showed you before, it has this you little, see that little shiny bit in there. There's the, oop, there's the light, there's the thing. Anyhow, um, you can see that. That's to push up an active element that's supposed to be in the key. That's supposed to make it hard to do what I'm trying to do here. So I have the problem that I grab the plug and put this in where it's supposed to go. And I put the key in that this pin, you can see, is actually just a hair too low. And that's with no cut on the key at all. It's just a hair too low to clear the uh, shear line. So what's supposed to happen is there's supposed to be a little thing in there, that a little active part of the key that moves up and down. So I have to figure out how to simulate that. So that's my next task. I think what I'm going to do is cut the rest of the key and then work that out in a bit. So there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> key number one was a good fit, but problem was that I took a little too much metal off of this aspect here and um, wasn't getting enough height. So I made a new one. This time I used just a piece of flat bar, which I found when I was looking for a tool. And rather than trying to cut all the wards, I just got rid of all the pieces of the key I didn't need. Um, so hopefully this thing will obviously be one-sided, but it looks like a pretty fit, tight fit in there, and uh, we'll see if that works a little better. So, key 2.0, looking more like a key, I guess. Anyhow, so I've marked my dots now. Not perfect, but I also got my little witness mark on there, right about there. So hopefully that'll keep me help me keep things aligned. No, it's okay, so I'm on pin oh. three. I'm the first one I'm trying. It looks like it's a pretty much a zero cut for the wide part. And then you can see I need to take a little bit off for the middle pin. So I'm going to attempt to do that now uh, with a file. And that's where my little witness mark comes in handy. So I can just go straight across that little dot that I made. So let's see okay, how that so what goes. I did was I took a combination of a triangle file and a pippin file. And that looks pretty good. And that's the little mark a little notch that I made in the key. So obviously pin two I can't do because of the active element. So I'm going to do the other four pins and see if I can get the thing Okay, working. I'm working on pin one now. And this one is going to be a little harder. I've already worked on it a little bit. But what you can see here is that the center pin is shorter than the outer pin, which means that 
when I'm done cutting the key, there needs to be a land there in the middle with a lower part around it. Um, that's a little harder to cut with a file. If I had like a round hollow drill bit, that might be kind of cool. But what I'm sort of doing is working my way around the thing, which is a pain in the ass. Um, but uh, what I did is I took a, a nail set and made a little sort of guide mark around it. And then what I'm gonna do is try to excavate all this material around and try to leave that little rise in the center and we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, I think I got it. That was a pain in the ass. Probably special tools that would have made that a lot easier, but I think it's flush enough and the plug spins freely. And a little worried about that pin, but we'll see. And this is what the incredibly mangled key looks like at the end. Um, and I will turn it for you. You should be able to see just that little nub there. Right here. The cut itself is pretty horrible. Um, but getting around that with a file is a bitch. So these are hard to copy and I still don't have okay, pin two. I'm actually gonna try with pin two. It's just a zero cut and an 015 master wafer and see if that does it. It's really a little small, but diameter wise, but we'll see if that works. Or it'll just jam the entire lock and I'll be back to dissection again. We'll see. Okay, so here is the completed key, which you can see is one of the most beautiful pieces of handcrafted aluminum anyone in the entire world has ever produced. You can hear my dinner in the background too. Here's the bloody lock reassembled. I have all five pins in there this time. Um, the key, after a fashion, does go into the lock really well. You can see it's incredibly smooth. And then if you just jiggle it, there it goes. Operates. So. Wow, that was completely out of frame, wasn't it? Let's do that again, because that was just so cool. Whoa, shit. That would be no circlet. All right, so, lock, beautiful key. Key goes in the lock, sort of. There we go, we give it some jiggles. More jiggles, beautiful, beautiful entry. Little jiggle. Operating, operating the lock. So, if you have a multi-lock lock that you bought off of eBay that is pinned incorrectly, you don't have a key for it, and you have about six hours on your hands, maybe eight, to reverse pick it, shim it, take it apart, and then fabricate a key, you can have one of these as well. I'm not sure I'd recommend it, but it was kind of a fun way to spend a Saturday, sort of. Anyhow, this is Alex. Have fun. Keep it legal. Cheers.